Like all other Baha'i house of worship, the Lotus Temple is open to all regardless of religion or any other distinction as emphasized in Baha'i's texts. The Baha'i's laws emphasizes that the spirit of the house of worship be that is a gathering place where people of all religions may worship God without denominational restrictions. The Baha'i's laws also stipulates that only the whole scriptures of the Baha'i's faith and other religions can be read or chanted inside in any language while readings and uh, prayers can be set to music by choirs no musical instruments can be played inside furthermore no sermons can be delivered and there can be no ritualistic ceremonies practiced All Baha'is houses of worship, including the Lotus Temple, share certain architectural elements, some of which are specified by Baha'i scripture. Abdu Baha'i, the son of the founder of this religion, stipulated that an essential architectural character of a house of worship is a ninth sided circular shape while all current Baha'i houses of worship have a dome this is not regarded as an essential part of their architecture Baha'i scripture also states that no pictures statues or images be displayed within the house of worship and no pulpits or altars be incorporated as an architectural feature. Inspired by the lotus flower, the design for the house of worship in New Delhi is composed of 27 free standing marble clad petals arranged in clusters of three to form nine sides. The nine doors of the lotus temple open into a central hall slightly more than 40 meters tall there is uh, capable of holding up to 2500 people the surface of the house of worship is made of marble from pentali mountain in greece the very same from which many architects monument and other Baha'i houses of worship are built. Along with its nine surrounding ponds and the gardens, the Lotus Temple property comprises of 26 acres. The temple has received a wide range of attention in professional architectural fine art, religious, governmental and other values.